We are here for a celebration. This man, Drew, and this woman, Grace, believing in God's plan and sovereignty, have followed the instruction of the Holy Spirit and are to be married. She's a bullet that's about to fire. She's the steady that'll keep you sane. If love's a fool, then I'm a liar. I know she's the only way. She sees colors that I can't see, and she. Grace. So, recalling our first encounter and all the wonderful time that we've shared since. I couldn't help but think of the day of our engagement. I'd put a lot of thought into what the proposal would look like, and, um, and then it rained. <laughs> and it rained, and it rained. Oh boy, did it ever rain. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I distinctly remember standing next to you, and both of us were drenched in water. And. Um, And in my heart, your brightness shining through the sky and all the clouds. And this is how I feel beside you every day. You showed me lovely. You showed me lovely. It was a little over a year ago when we attended a Sunday service here for the first time together. During the time of communion that day, I ate my piece of dipped bread prematurely, not knowing that the church would be led through it together. When I had this realization, I embarrassingly looked over at you, breadless, laughing at myself and expecting you to be laughing with me. And instead, I was met by your extended hand with a broken piece of your own bread being passed my way. And to you, this was probably no big deal. But to me, this was a glimpse and a simple example of the sacrificial love that you have for not only me, but all the people in your life. Life is so much sweeter with you in it. And I feel so proud to be the one that you will come home to each day. I have known Drew for a long time. Being his friend has been a privilege. He is a man of courage, a man of character, a man of conviction. He's a man who uh, is willing to take on daunting things. It was daunting staying up uh, really late into the night, um, almost coming to blows, finishing a game of Risk, but Drew was up for it. It was daunting uh, getting up at 6 a.m to go to Denny's or Starbucks or wherever it was and, and study God's word together. But Drew was up for it. Drew is the sort of man that finds the right thing to do and he does it. Because um, that's the kind of man my friend is. Ooh, we're taking off now. Pretty soon after they started dating, she came to me, we were having dinner, and she said, I'm, I'm going to marry him, Jordan, I'm going to marry him. And so today, <laughs> as we stand here today, when you are getting married amongst all your family and friends, um, I just hope you feel surrounded by love and comfort and support, and I hope that you take that support and comfort and love with you guys and create a beautiful life together. Yeah, 
by virtue vested in me as Deputy Commissioner of Civil Marriages and under the laws of the State of California, I now pronounce you man and wife. Drew, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>